of the circus. Jerry of the circus. Oh, you stay right here, Rags. <laughs> stay right by our wagon. <laughs> yes, it's you I'm talking to. Folks are too busy with packing and moving today to have you running around getting underfoot. <laughs> oh, well, all right, then. Maybe I was a little hard. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm forgiven then, huh? <laughs> oh, I'm not. <laughs> oh, 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 I see. It's Jerry in about time, I'd say. <laughs> well, at last. Just couldn't be helped. Oh, that's all right, Jerry. I knew where you were, but tell me, how's Splendor now? Well, why do you say he's going to be all right now? Oh, well, good. I'm sure glad to hear he pulled through. Did you stay up all night with him and go without any sleep at all? Oh, why did I took turns? The doctor came over about 2 o'clock this morning, and both Waddy and I slept for about an hour. Well, but you're pretty tired, aren't you? No, I feel... Oh. I feel all right. Oh, oh, sure you do. You're just yawning because you want to want to stretch your face. <laughs> well, we got a big day ahead of us, Jerry. We're moving today, you know. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I think you should go right to the wagon and take a nap for a couple hours before we start loading on the car. Oh, I can't. I've got to get my stuff back Oh, first. no, you don't. Sure I do. No, uh, I did all your packing for you. All you have to do is to get some sleep and then get down to the train in time. Well, all right, I'll... I'll try to take a little nap, but you be sure and wake me up in time to go down to the round. I'll get you up before they start loading the wagons. Come on now. <laughs> hey, you did do all the packing, didn't you? Gee, thanks, Bob. Oh, that's all right. <laughs> now just sit down on the cot there and get your shoes off. <sighs> I'm sure glad Splendor's going to get well. Yeah, I am too, Jerry. I guess that poor little colt had a hard time of it. I'll say he did. A couple of times during the night, Whitey thought he was going to quit breathing. Mm. Uh, what did the doc have to say, Jerry? He said... Oh, he said that keeping Splendor nice and warm like we did had a lot to do with his getting better. And I guess it was worth losing one night's sleep. You bet it was. Now, yeah, then, let's throw this blanket over you. you know, just lie down there. Uh, that's a boy. Now, you be sure and wake me up if I fall asleep. You bet I will. Don't you worry. Just get some rest. Come on, Rex. Right. <laughs> right. Louder, Ray! Louder! Jerry, come on now, wake up! Wake up, Jerry! Come on here, wake up! They're starting to move the way! <laughs> Guess I must have fallen asleep for a minute. Oh, so you did? You fell asleep for three hours. Three hours? Really? Sure thing. <laughs> if they rags here, thought for sure you'd never wake up. I never in my life saw anybody saw wood like you did. <laughs> You win, Bumps. I guess I was kind of tired. <laughs> well, hurry up now. Get your shoes on. Let's get over to the train. Oh, we've got plenty of time if they haven't loaded the wagons yet. Uh, don't fool yourself. You must remember that we're not moving on schedule today. They're loading the wagons last this move. Okay. I'll only be a minute. Yeah. Oh, say, by the way, uh, Whitey was here a while ago, and he said to tell you that they had Splendor and Lady all moved and bedded down on the car. He said Splendor seemed to be getting better by the hour. Oh, that's key. Yep. <laughs> hey, you ready now? Let's see now. Hey, where's my cap? Oh, there it is. Okay. 
I'm ready. All right, come on, Riggs. Come on, Riggs. Come on, Riggs. Hurry up. <laughs> Looks like all the performers have left a lot already. Well, they have. Guess we're the last to go over. The good thing's the trains are so close. Yeah, it is at that. We've only got a few minutes. I sure would like some deep bumps. Ooh. Oh, you're hungry, huh? You bet. Well, won't have time to stop now, but you can get something on the train. Okay. Hey, hey, Riggs. Look at him run ahead. Come here, Rags. Oh, let him go. He knows where we're heading for. He's been watching the folks going over to the train for the past hour or so. Say, Bob. Mm, yes, Joe? When do we get into Harper City? Oh, sometime tonight. We won't start setting up until morning. I guess at that we didn't waste so much time getting the circus back in order after that cyclone. I don't know how Mr. Randall figured it all out and got things together again. Uh, I tell you, it was a big job, Joe. Hmm. Hey, there goes Mr. Randall getting in his car. Uh, see him way over there? Well, uh, where? Uh, <laughs> I guess your eyes are better than mine, Jerry. <laughs> and there goes Flap and Hooligan. Uh, they're just like twins. They're pretty nearly always together. Yeah, those two have been buddies for years. They started clowning together when they were just kids around county fairs. I didn't know that. Yep. Uh-oh. What's all that commotion down there near those animal cars? It's Kelly and some of the men from the menagerie. Let's go over there and see what it is. Yeah, okay. We've still got a few minutes. Come on, Bob. Yeah, I'm, I'm coming, Jerry. Oh, Kelly. Jerry. Is something the matter? But there he is. Yeah, what's up, Kelly? Say, did you happen to see anything of that stray kitten on your way over here? Uh, stray kitten? You mean the news pal? Yeah. No, we didn't see her. Why? Then I'll have to find her and find her fast. That new is raising an awful rumpus. The cat was with the new when we loaded on the cars, but she must have scampered off someplace. Now the new is acting up something off. Oh, she's making it known she wants her cat friend. Is that it? Yeah, that's exactly it. Everything is loaded, and now all we're waiting on is a cat. Hey. Now what? That reminds me. Well, where is Rags? What? You don't know where Rags is? Well, it's a fine thing. A dog and a cat holding up the moving of a big hey, circus. Hey, oh, 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 yes, Mr. Randall. Hey, everyone is loaded and given their okay but you. Uh, what's holding up the menagerie cars? Well, I- I'm sorry, Mr. Randall, but uh, we've lost the cat. The cat? Yeah, the straight cat that's always with the new. Oh. And the new just won't behave till we find that cat friend of hers. Oh, now, look, this will never do. We we can't have a stray kitten holding us up. Uh, uh, Kelly, go find another cat for the new. There should be plenty of strays around the station over there. But I don't think we could fool the new that easy, Mr. Randall. Hey, listen. Well, that sounds like Rags, Jerry. Yeah, it is Rags. Yeah, there he is over there by that tree. See him? Hey, and there's a cat up on that first branch. Oh, why didn't I think of that? I'll go get him for you, Mr. Randall. Uh, well, that's pretty good. <laughs> yeah. I've had a lot of things delay departure, but this is the best I've ever heard of. <laughs> Rags doesn't want to let the cat down. <laughs> <laughs> well, now, that does beat anything. Rags chases the cat up the tree, and the new won't let us take off unless the cat is with her. <laughs> well, it's too much for me. Oh, okay. Jerry's got the cat now. Oh, Here, Rags. Here, Rags. Okay, I've got him. Ah. As soon as you get that cat in the menagerie car with the new, let's get going, Kelly. I'll go back to my car now. All right, Mr. Randall. See you later, Sam. Uh, hurry up, Jerry. I am. Come on, Ray. <laughs> you're, you're holding up the parade, Jerry. I thought that was a pretty quick rescue. Here, Kelly. Take the cat. All right. Now, 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 none of your meowing. If you hadn't scooted off, Rags wouldn't have chased you up that tree. Come, come along now. We haven't any time to lose. Uh, I'll be seeing you two later. Okay, Kelly. Come on, Rags. Yeah, and stay right by us, too. The idea of running off and chasing that poor little cat. Now, you, you go ahead, Jerry, and get on the car. I'm going over here at the station and buy a paper. Okay, Bob. Yeah, I'll be right with you, though. No, Rex, you're going to go with me. Hey, Jason. Hello, oh, Wait a second. We'll go to the car with you. Well, hello, Rex. Where's Bump, Jerry? Oh, he just went over to the station to get a newspaper. Oh. Well, come on, then. Let's get in our car. I'm going to sprawl out and see if I can't get some rest. You do look tired. Tired? I'm asleep on my feet. What's the matter, Jason? I've been spending the best part of the last two nights with that panther of mine. Is he sick? I don't know, Jerry. I can't seem to tell just what's the matter with him. Oh, maybe he's still upset and nervous from the cyclone. No, I hardly think that's the trouble, Jerry. All the other animals are over their nervousness. Oh, how does he act? He's mean, Jerry. Just plain mean. Well, here we are. Up you go. Come on up the stairs, Rag. You know, I don't know why these train steps have to be so high. <laughs> Here, I'll open the door. Okay. Go ahead, Rag. Come on, fella. Well, looks like we're all here. Yep. Oh, here's our seat. Sit down, Rag. <laughs> I pretty nearly beat you back here. Oh, Bombs, you already? You betcha. I didn't want to get left behind. I heard that whistle. 
Oh, hello, Jason. Hi, Bump. Got your paper, though, didn't you? I always get what I sent out to get. Good for you. Well, I'm going down to the end of the car and grab that last seat. I'm going to catch a little nap. Be talking to you later. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sleep tight, Jason. Come on now, sit down, Jerry. Well, I'll give you the funniest to read. <sighs> there. Uh, okay. Here you are. Thanks. Hey, here comes Boris. Well, well Boris, <laughs> pretty nearly missed the train. I had, I had to make a good run for it. I, I just jumped on in time. Hey, I wonder what made him so late. Yeah, I noticed him over at the station. He was sending a telegram <laughs> to Patsy. You couldn't have got left, Boris. Ah, uh, not me. He's kind of grumpy. He doesn't like to be kidded. Oh. Hey, what's the idea, Jason? Oh, why don't you keep your feet out of the aisle? I'm sorry, boy. He Boris. tripped over Jason's feet. Yeah, listen, John. Uh, sorry, you did it on purpose. You deliberately tripped me. I will not stand for this, Jason. Now, wait a minute, Boris. What are you trying to do, pick a fight? Yes, I'll pick a fight with you. I'll teach you to stick your big feet up and trip me. Come on, stand up and fight. Hey, this looks bad, Jerry. Ah, hello, bombs. Hey, hey, what's going down there? What's going on down there at the end of the car? And Boris and Jason are yeah, yeah. kind of sore. Boris sorry. is a little hot-headed because he thinks Jason tripped him. Now, lots of talk. That's all you are, Jason. Hey, here, take this. Hey, hey, what? Oh, hey, you are going to get it. Oh, hey, you hey, 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 Bring it up. Bring it up, you two. Bring it up. Come on, Jason. Cut it out. Boris. Boris, what did I say? Stop it. Jason, Boris. Cut it out. Now, cut it out. Well, I take no insults from anyone. You'll do a whole... What? No, no, never mind, Jason. Oh, what you say, Jason? Cut it out, both of you. Now, you two listen to me. I won't have any fighting. As long as you're working for Sam Randall, you'll conduct yourselves like gentlemen. I'm sorry this had to happen, Mr. Randall. Uh, I might expect this from some of the roustabouts, but you two, two of my star performers. My honor, Mr. Randall. I don't care a thing about your honor, Boris. You settle your grievances some other way, both of you. There's a clause in your contracts calling for you to conduct yourselves in a manner satisfactory to me at all times. And I hardly call this outburst satisfactory conduct. Well, it happened like this, Mr. Randall. I, I don't was... care to hear a thing about it, Jason. But I want you two to hear this. The very next time I see any fighting, or or even if I find out about it, you might as well pack your things and get out. All right, remember that now. I'll have no more of this sort of thing if either of you intend to stay with Randall Brothers Circus. Randall Brothers Circus.